Buenas dias, fellow gamers. My name is it. How you guys doing? I'm a little bit sick, but that doesn't stop me from providing content to you because I do have another banger video for you. Dante, a new Warframe that has been out for a couple of days now. Can you imagine hitting the damage cap already with that Warframe? Don't believe me? I'll show you. Okay, I just want you to take a look at this. This happened during Duviri Circuit Steel Path. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can actually see it more. Just give me a sec. You see this number? Two billion damage. What the fuck is this? That's a lot of damage. One important thing I have to mention in advance is that this build that I'm gonna show you is not directly from me. It's from a very good friend of mine. He's been using this during Doviri circuit steel path. And I was like, bro, what in the blue hell? What is that amount of damage you're dealing? I mean, my Octavia that I was playing was doing pretty great too. Like she was doing a ridiculous job, you know, reflecting all the damage. You know, we all know how great Octavia is, but this Dante build, Jesus, I'm gonna show you right now. Also, if you're curious, um, there's a new simulacrum that they added. It's called the Sanctum Simulacrum. You can go to Lloyd, you can go to Dante Research, and you can literally buy that for 75 of whatever that currency is called. I believe it's Vessel, yeah, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Either way, let's go now. Okay, I will do my absolute best to break down the abilities so it's very simple and everybody can understand it. The first thing you can do with Dante is you press the second ability button twice and as you can see it is a double light version in the book. Um, now if you press your fourth ability you're gonna see that you're gonna get overguard. You already got overguard but if you press your fourth ability you're gonna get even more overguard. Look at that. And this also applies to teammates. Method number two. Press light, press dark and you're gonna get a book. So what does this book do? This book is like a mini mirage, clone, specter, however you want to see it. Because if you shoot, it's going to duplicate the damage. You can't see it shooting, but it's actually shooting, okay? Method number three. Dark, two times. So if you activate your third ability, um, the first thing it's going to do, it's going to give the enemies around you a slash. That depends on how um, much range you have, of course. But if you activate that with your fourth ability, you're going to deal ridiculous amount of damage. And you're going to see that in just a second. Method number four, dark and light. Well, what is this gonna do? It's gonna summon crows. And those crows basically help you with status. Keep in mind, the screenshot I showed you at the start is from Doviri Circuit. In Doviri Circuit, you do get buffs, okay? So that's why it's a little bit easier to reach that damage cap number. Anyway, for the build, I'm gonna show you everything that I used. Okay, um, first of all, I'm gonna show you the Pharaoh Predicide build. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this short and sweet, so you can actually pause the video and copy the build if you wish. So what is this build about? It's basically about mecha mods and parasite mods that help you apply viral onto the enemy. So that saves you viral on your weapons. You know, you don't have to put, you don't have to mod your weapons for viral because the Pharaoh Predicide already, already provides you with that, which is super nice. For the Noctua, um, that is the build I'm using. It's basically status. I see people that are going for crit, but status is just good enough already, if you ask me. Of course, for the turret, um, you can go with this build. I explained it back then in my Revenant video, if you remember. Um, Hunter munitions, you can go with Viral Slash, of course, but you can also go with Corrosive. Corrosive is good if you have those green shards that I'm gonna explain in just a second. Alrighty, yo, on to the big daddy, Dante. Before we start with the build, I want to recommend shards to you. The first two shards I would recommend are the Emerald Archon shards, because if you have two of them, you don't need to have the Tau Forged one. It's enough if you have two green ones, you know, like two normal green ones, um, because that gives you corrosion stacks up to 14, which means you can fully strip armor, which is very nice. For the other two slots, I would recommend the yellow Archon shards, and I would go with the double casting speed. Of course, you can use natural talent, but that literally saves a mod slot, doesn't it? For the last Archon Shard slot, you can go with the red one to just increase the strength, which is always very nice. On to the build. So as you can see, I'm using Molt Augmented. It basically gives you ability strength. For the second Arcane, I'm using Arcane Avenger. Why? Because if you get damaged, you get a bonus crit chance of 45%. 
But isn't it bad if you get damaged? Well, yeah, kind of, unless you're Revenant. Um, also, unless you're Dante, because if you're Dante, you can basically give yourself Overguard with um, the double light ability. For the main mods, you're noticing that I'm using Mecha Empowered, which might throw you off first because you're like, wait, I never see someone using this. You're gonna see this in just a second when we go to the Simulacrum gameplay, but this one is actually very important because if you mark a target, that target is gonna become more vulnerable to damage and it's also gonna spread the damage, which is very nice. Which is why we have Mecha Pulse. Mecha Pulse basically grants you more armor and it also spreads the status effects up to a range of 30 meters, which is quite nice actually. For the other mods, Rolling Guard, just in case your shield depletes, you know, you always have this safe option to survive and regain those shields, or can stretch because range is just um, good, you know. Um, helps you nuke a little bit easier. Prime Flow, because, uh, well, you do need energy for this build. Umbral Intensify. I, of course, you can use the normal Intensify if you don't have that, but this one is just 11% more. No, it's actually 14, because I think the normal Intensify is 30. This one is 44, yeah. Adaptation just helps with damage reduction. And if you remember, we're getting armor from Mecha Pulse, which um, makes it even better. Trends in Fortitude, just for strength. For the Exodus mod, you can actually go with Power Drift, since you don't need Prime Surefooted. Why is that? Because if you have Overguard, you don't get knocked down. That is super cool. If you know me, I'm a person that always goes with Prime Surefooted, because I just hate it when I land on my butt, when I can't do anything, when I just get knocked down and I just die. You know, I hate that. But with Overguard, you don't get knocked down, which is why you don't need Prime Surefooted. You can just go with Power Drift. And yes, I was too lazy to format that, but you can do that. Don't just feel free to. It's, it's alright, it's alright. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna spawn Corrupted Heavy Gunners, because they do have a ton of armor, and it's very, very good in showcasing that. So we're just gonna spawn 20 of them. Of course, gonna pause them. The funny thing is, if you spawn them in this simulacrum, they do have a higher enemy level, which is 225. If you do it in the, in the other um, simulacrum, it's 205. In the first one, it's 200, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so here's what I usually do. I cast the third ability twice. I do make sure I get a little bit far away. You can be close to apply slash, which is fine. Then again, you go there, and if you remember, your companion is going to mark a target. Now we just have to see which target is being marked. I'm obviously blind. It's going to be this one, okay? So we're going to do our best to kill this one very fast. And boom, look at that. You see that damage? It's crazy. I'll show you again. Now let's see which um, target our companion marked. It's gonna be this one. Okay, so we're gonna have to kill this one very quickly. Look at that. And now, we just spread the damage. And everything just dies. Pretty cool, right? Third time's a charm. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, companion. Which target did you mark? Let me see. It's this one. So we're just gonna have to kill it very quick. And now look at that. The wombo combo just kills everything. You see that? That was above 100 million damage that you can do that. Plus, the funny thing is, if you spawn them all, um, you activate your abilities again. This time we're gonna do it with a crow, okay? We're gonna do it with a crow. We're gonna spawn that already, because it's gonna stay for a while, as you can see. 55 seconds of duration, which is not bad. We're gonna activate the dark page. We're gonna go over there. We're gonna see which um, target or companion marked. Where is it? Where is it? Show yourself. Am I blind? Oh, it's, it's right over there. We're gonna kill it very fast. And now look at that. Everything just dies. It's hilarious. Okay, now for the ultimate wombo combo. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna activate the third ability and the second one. So that's gonna summon the crows. All right? This time, the other way around. We're gonna go with the light first and then with the, uh, with the dark. Which means we're gonna summon the book. If we now press the fourth ability. So we do have the crows, we do have the book. So what's missing? Of course, the damage. And now we have to see which enemy is being marked. Which one is it? Companion, show me. There's one thing I don't like, it's that sometimes you can't see uh, too well which one is marked and which one is not, actually. You just have to wait a little bit. Oh, it's this one, okay. So we kill this one, and now look at that. Like, the funny thing is, I couldn't even nuke them because they just died instantly. That's how much damage you do with this. You, you can't... I didn't even have to use my fourth ability to just nuke them. You see that they just like died right away, which is super funny. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. As you can see, the predator is already jiggling. So um, how about we just jiggle too? Just jiggle a little bit. 
that's gonna do it for this video i hope you all enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one